I'm Prakash Narkade. Welcome to my YouTube channel Automation Talks. Um, I'm resuming my YouTube journey after a pause of almost three plus years and starting again from today with uh, a special series on Tosca special execution task where I'm gonna uh, explain more on why do we need special execution task or SAT or basically it's in customization within Tosca. If something is not directly possible with the help of Tosca, uh, how can we you know uh, develop a customization on top of the existing standard models that are given by Tricentis to make the process more simplified so in this particular you know uh, next probably uh, three or four videos uh, I'll, I'll be more talking about uh, how can we automate AWS S3 bucket operations so we, we might have a scenarios and in the next slide I have a list of scenarios what that can be uh, in, in, in case of real use cases but then say I, I could have like multiple scenarios in my project where I'm, I'm dealing with AWS S3 bucket so some files are getting uploaded as a part of my application or uh, my application is consuming some files from S3 bucket now uh, you know uh, or, or some events is getting triggered from S3 bucket uh, you know file push or file delete or something so I, I want to you know test those all those kind of scenarios uh, you know uh, as a part of my regression suit that I have automated with Tosca now um, uh, as of now Tricentis have uh, uh, basically don't have any utility where you can connect to uh, AWS S3 bucket directly obviously you can do that with PowerShell uh, you know with the help of AWS uh, CLI uh, commands but then again that is like you have a dependency where you should have AWS CLI installed and then you know a lot of uh, you know uh, CMD lines you need to write and then parameterization and all those stuff rather if in your project you know if you have like multiple operations that deal with AWS S3 bucket probably I feel this utility that what, what I'm talking about or a special execution talk, task what I'm talking about is going to be helpful so uh, as a part of this uh, S3 bucket operations uh, uh, I'll be more talking in my next few videos uh, for up, how can we upload the file uh, or how can we download the file or listing the files or deleting the files or check if the file exists all these operations I'm gonna do from Tricentis Tosca to AWS Amazon S3 bucket now let, let me talk about few real-time use cases uh, where I might need to connect from price and test Tosca to AWS S3 during my test automation process. So the, the first one, very first one, um, say I have an application where it generates some output file. Uh, like, like I have seen many applications that generates their output reports in Azure Blob. That there might be some applications, you know, that generates the reports maybe and any kind of reports uh, could be PDF, CSV, um, XML or whatever, whatever right so it, it generates uh, say a report or a file in S3 bucket and as a part of my end-to-end -end test I want to perform the validation uh, you know I want to perform the validation over that particular file which is a part of S3 bucket I cannot directly read the file from S3 bucket with the help of Tosca so you know this particular special execution task what uh, you know we are going to talk in a uh, few upcoming uh, videos is going to help us you know to download the file from s3 bucket to your local and then later you can put like whatever validations you want to put uh, use case number two you want to upload uh, the test results to s3 bucket for example uh, um, I, I think most most of us must have seen uh, so when we print the test execution reports it is usually a um, few MBs maybe more than 10 MBs more than 20 MBs or if we are adding or including all the screenshot probably it may go beyond you know 30 40 MBs depending on your size of uh, the regression suit now I cannot put you know this big size report in the um, email I cannot attach it to the email so say I uh, what I should be doing is I can either put it on the shared drive and then you know share the link of shared drive in an email or as an automated process what I can do is once my test execution is completed I should be uploading I should be printing the test execution results I say it is generating the PDF the PDF should get uploaded to S3 bucket and then I'll get the public link uh, you know uh, of that particular report uh, uh, which which points to S3 bucket and then I'll be able to add that link into my email and I'll be sending that automatic email after my execution is completed okay so where uh, you know my all test automation uh, execution results will be maintained into S3 bucket 
um, let's see a couple of scenarios and, and, and we must be knowing that like many of us um, if I'm using Tosca DA where uh, you know I'm doing like file to file compare or whatever different you know scenarios that supports that are supported by Tosca DA data integrity um, there we have an option to connect to S3 bucket direct option to connect to S3 bucket but then if I'm not using Tosca DA and again it's uh, we must be knowing that it, it involves a separate license cost if I'm not using Tosca DA probably you know uh, I don't have a way you know to uh, upload the file to S3 bucket so let's take an example uh, where um, my application um, my application is like after after I push the file to S3 bucket it triggers certain workflow so say I upload the file xyz dot txt as soon as that file goes it triggers some ETL jobs where that you know or ETL jobs or um, lambda functions in the you know latest uh, cloud era where it uh, it passed the file it it performs certain operations and it do whatever basically the logic within the applications right so you know in those kind of scenarios uh, i need something to upload my file to the s3 bucket so that i can test these end-to-end -end scenarios so obviously this is gonna help um, let's take an example uh, event driven architecture even the use case 3 what I said is a part of event driven architecture itself um, let, let's take an, uh, another example where say uh, uh, I, I have I have some files into s3 bucket now a deletion of the file in s3 bucket triggers something triggers some event on say AWS lambda or wherever, wherever it goes right so uh, you know to test these kind of scenarios where I might be uploading the file to s3 downloading the file getting the file uh, listing the files if the file is present on s3 uh, deleting the file you know to perform all these operations uh, you know um, uh, we would be needing some common utility which can perform which which can supports all these operations let me show you let me go to Tosca and let me show you what it is and then probably next few lectures uh, next few sessions I'll be talking more about how it is developed okay so here it is so uh, s3 bucket operation it's a special execution task developed uh, as I said in the next few sessions I'll be talking more about how it is developed and all so for an example let me drag and drop this uh, module to the test case and see what it is okay so the very first thing I'm gonna provide the s3 bucket configurations I should be knowing uh, what's the name of s3 bucket which region it belongs to what's the access key and secret access to you know connect to this s3 bucket next next more important thing what I was talking about till now what kind of operation you want to perform do you want to upload the file if you want to upload the file you should be giving the path local path uh, the file that you want to upload then next you should be giving the s3 file path where you want to upload the file in case of you want to download the file it is going to be reverse so the file from s3 file path and s3 file name will get downloaded to the local file path and local file name next operation listing the file so for listing the file I don't need local file path I don't need local file name because I'm, I'm just gonna list the file that are present into this particular s3 file path so what it is gonna do is there is one attribute called as output so in the output very uh, output attribute it is gonna you know whatever whatever uh, you know uh, name or buffer name that you provide it is gonna list the uh, all the files into this list uh, you know buffer or variable uh, say you want to delete the file you know you should be passing uh, the S, uh, s3 file path and s3 file name and the respective file will get deleted from the s3 bucket if you want to check if the file exists you know so you should be specifying s3 file path s3 file name and you, you should be you know putting some variable in the output which will contain you know true or false based on if the file exists or not you know so uh, as of now this is what I thought these many are the common operations but then if there are any other specific operations that uh, you know you can let me know uh, if there are um, some common um, operations that are across the industry uh, that are related to s3 bucket specifically used across test automation uh, uh, you know and when we automate the end-to-end -end use cases using trace and test OSCA. okay so now uh, to, to, to begin further um, in the next session I'll be talking more about how this special execution task is developed to develop this we would be needing uh, Visual Studio we would be needing a C sharp knowledge we would be needing uh, um, some 
you know understanding of uh, special execution task which obviously i would be explaining and then we would be needing an account on aws and obviously i mean we don't need it uh, in case you already uh, you wanted to use it for your you know end to end test cases where you already know okay you have an s3 bucket and then you want to just perform this operation but then for learning definitely you would be needing that okay so with this uh, i think i'm gonna uh, stop this video and uh, if you have any questions or uh, you know feel free to put your comments or any other operations that would like to you know uh, have a part of uh, this uh, special execution task feel free to reach out to me and uh, yeah let's let's catch in the next video thank you